Hello everybody, Trello here, and today we're going to continue our look at the Love Royale dev server, and this time we're going to look at the American M1 KVT, which of course is a pack vehicle coming to the American tech tree. Now, I know most of you have probably already noticed a glaring difference in this compared to the dev blog, and yes, there is a visual difference, we'll get to why that is in a minute, because basically this is supposed to be an Abrams tank that is disguised as a Soviet tank. Of course the KVT stands for Krasnovian Variant Tank, which is supposed to be some sort of fake nation using Soviet tanks. Now I know some people have pointed out in the forums and the subreddit that this is a historical. Basically, in real life this was an M1A1 Abrams. Instead they've used the M1 with the 105mm gun as the variant for this tank which is a bit disappointing. You'd think they would just use the actual historical variant, or at least add both of them, maybe. You know, that would seem to be such a no-brainer for making money, but there we go. And of course, this is basically just an M1 Abrams. But if you go into the modifications, we've got this visual mod. And as I understand it, this is what turns it into a Soviet tank, which we're going to demonstrate in the test drive. So we've got it as a reference model. So we'll have all of our modules unlocked when we spawn in. And here you go. As you can see, it suddenly looks a lot different. You've got these barrels at the back. You've got fake ERA blocks on the turret. So they don't make any difference. You've got this fake dozer blade at the front. Again, doesn't make any difference. You've got this uh, writing on the side, which I think was Soviet for boat. I can't quite remember from the dev blog. Uh, you've got this fake um, infrared searchlight thing at the front here. But other than that, it's exactly the same as the Abrams, except for one slight difference because of these barrels. We turn it all the way. Yeah, we can't aim down at these barrels. So if you're an enemy and you come across an Abrams, try and get to its rear diagonals, and it's going to have a bit of trouble, you know, getting its turret on you, especially if they're detracked. So of course, if you're going to aim straight backwards, you can still aim relatively far downwards, at least as far as the engine block will allow you to. And other than that, it's basically an M1 Abrams. So we're just going to demonstrate. Yep, it still fires the same 105mm shell. Just going to quickly demonstrate. Yep, it's an M1 Abrams. It still fires the same shells. It has the same characteristics. Has the same machine guns. Has the same crew. Uh, there's not really much else to say about this vehicle. It is an M1 Abrams, but looks a bit more Soviet-y. And of course, you can take off that module to return it to its American state. Though, of course, there is one slight change from the dev block. It still has the side skirts. I'm pretty sure these were not meant to be present when it's dressed up in its Soviet configuration. But they still are. Which, um, maybe there were some sort of complaints about that because it would be an inferior M1 Abrams in that regard because you haven't got the composite screens. Uh, but for whatever reason, they've decided that it will have the side skirts regardless of which mode it's been represented in. So, yeah, that is the M1 Abrams, or the M1 KVT. And like I say, this is a pack vehicle, so it's not available for unlocking via regular means. You will, unfortunately, have to buy it. But, yeah, there's not really much to say about this. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth the money. I mean, unless you really just want it for the premium status and, you know, uniqueness. But, yeah, it's a decent tank. Nothing spectacular. But, um, you know, if you want to buy it, buy it, I suppose. <laughs> I probably won't be buying it myself, to be honest, but, um, you know, you do you. Anyway, just a quick video today looking at the M1 KVT. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been to Renault, and I'll see you next time.